more wars, peace prizes. So that's the joke. They're God. We're bad. You, you need a scapegoat for the propaganda model to work for, because people need to love. They need, they need to fall in love with their captor, and they need to hate somebody. So that's the way the propaganda model works. So uh, in America right now, uh, they're, they're, you know, if you're the prop, if you're the scapegoat, they, they, they need somebody to be the scapegoat. So, I mean, but this is not, this is not un, unpredictable. I mean, this is quite, this, this is the model that we're talking about because since the credit collapse has, has eliminated the easy money, uh, what we have now is this wholesale transference of wealth, what's left into the pockets of the top 1%, and they have to do it in a way that everybody kind of thinks is is acceptable, and they do this by scapegoating one portion of the population, by setting themselves up as God, and that they need to continue to transfer wealth to themselves because they need, and, and that's the model that we've seen before in history, and it's the model being used in the U.S. today. Well, Max, I mean, you have always identified that the big power structure, Wall Street and others, are in control of both parties, and you've been identifying the banks, and, and, and you talk about the revolt against the banking global dictatorship gaining steam, but they've been more successful in the U.S. playing different political groups off against each other, divide and conquer. Specifically, though, uh, what do you see unfolding in Iceland and in Greece? I mean, for those that don't know, over the weekend, Iceland voters reject repayment plan because it's a fraud. Yeah, well, as these currencies, you know, remember the Icelandic krona collapsed. I was in uh, Reykjavik a year before the collapse. I, I was in the Hotel 101. I was sitting with bankers from what was still a viable firm, Lehman Brothers, and they told me that they were planning to attack the I Icelandic krona using derivatives and other uh, financial products and that they were going to take the Icelandic economy down. I made a, a film at that time. I spoke to bankers. I told them, you know, this economy is going to blow up in less than a year because you are in control of the speculators. You have lost control of your economy. And they laughed at me, and they said, no, that's impossible. And, of course, I, less than a year later, the krona collapsed. The Icelandic uh, uh, economy collapsed. Now we're seeing the same speculators move on to Greece and move on to the Eurozone, where they say to Greece, you know, we're going to collapse your economy unless you give us some of your islands, unless you give us some of your tourist attractions, which we can uh, securitize and turn into derivatives and trade with each other for next year's Christmas bonus. And if you don't do that, we're going to crash your economy. So they use these uh, derivatives as we basically weaponized financial products. We saw with Hank Paulson, he went to Congress and said, either you give us $700 billion, remember at the end of 2008, either you give us $700 billion or we're going to crash your economy. Now that's that he held the uh, Congress hostage to me. I don't understand how he got away with holding the American Congress hostage like this and demanding $700 billion in ransom. They mean, uh, you know, the U.S. is crying about pirates in Somalia. What about the pirates on the floor right there in Congress? I mean, I don't understand the double standard there. Well, I'm, you may have seen this. It just came out today, Atlantic Monthly, and I'll give folks a document cam shot of this. Uh, it says, a detention bill you ought to read more carefully Again, that's Atlantic Monthly. Here's the PrisonPlanet.com article. Dissenters to be detained as enemy belligerents. This is a John McCain, Joseph Lieberman bill. It says the Enemy Belligerent Interrogation, Detention, and Prosecution Act of 2010 allows the holding of citizens inside the United States for any reason, Section 5, any matters as the president considers appropriate with no evidence of any crime being committed extrajudicially by the military and then our homeland security's put out a training video of these mobile homeland security body scanning vans that will also brain scan you and then they will claim with their quackery just like the lie detector sent millions of innocent people to prison they'll have some minimum wage tsa person say this shows you're a terrorist it, it, it tells of your lying, supposedly, and then you disappear. I mean, my God, I mean, I'm living in the running man, Max. This is, this is incredible. Well, it's because they're broke. They, 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 the, the easiest way to make money in the world is in the prison business. And we know that the prison business in the U.S. is thriving. The U.S. has the biggest prison population in the world. It's growing. The fastest minority in the, in the United States in terms of growth 
is the prison population. We know that the private companies that own the prisons, they own the restaurants and the hotels that are located near the prisons. So when you go to visit your family in prison and you stay in the hotel and you eat in the restaurants, you're paying the same owner who owns the prison. We know that the prison owners lobby Washington to get laws passed to make it easier to put people into prison. And uh, this is a huge money maker. It's the easy way to make money. You see, in the United States, unfortunately, they don't have enough self-confidence anymore to compete and do things like high technology and go to the moon. You know, the fact that Barack Obama canceled NASA and canceled all the space programs is really a shame because, you know, if it wasn't for NASA, if it wasn't for man landing on the moon in 1969, there would have been no Silicon Valley, there would have been no Google, there would have been no Microsoft, there would have been no Oracle software, there would have been no IBM doing the uh, PC industry, there's no Apple computer. It was the, you know, the, the cutting edge of, an, of, an, of a, a technological revolution based on the fact that everybody wanted to be an astronaut, every, you know, and people wanted to get their science degrees, and America was competitive, and we were going to beat the Russians with Sputnik, and it was a very competitive society. But now, America's lost its will to compete. So they basically, all they want to do is build prisons and uh, lock people up for money because they're broke. And they don't know how to, they have too much debt. You see, America is like the guy, is like the student with too much debt who gives up. Or the unemployed guy with too much debt who gives up. The, the entire country is like this. They have too much debt. So instead of trying to uh, compete or to get a job and, and to compete on the world stage, they're just, they've given up. America's given up on itself. It doesn't have enough confidence to really want to compete on the world stage anymore. They're letting China and India and these other countries take center stage. But that was the globalist That was the globalist plan. I read that from documents in the 70s. Move everything to China, get us in debt, turn us into a prison colony, implode out our economy, and all we'll provide is propaganda and military hardware. Max, uh, let's uh, look at the IMF suggest how to raise climate change funds. This is really just their global tax. But how would private bankers sell a global tax? Oh, to save the penguins. And then we'll talk about where Max Kaiser sees this going. Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters. I designed our top-selling holster, the Super Tuck Deluxe, to solve the problems of being poked, pinched, and gouged while carrying concealed. The Super Tuck Deluxe is the most comfortable, most concealable holster on the market today. We offer a two-week free trial and a lifetime warranty. Visit us at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Don't forget... CrossbreedHolsters.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Gold is it for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. 
For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237.